Today let's see how hover over effect can be applied to our HTML elements. Save the file with .html extension and start writing the usual HTML document. We can apply CSS hover over, it's called hover over effect to an almost any HTML elements like the table, the td tag, tr tag to the entire row, to the entire column, almost pretty much anything for to any HTML elements like link tag or anything. Let me show with unordered list. UL is unordered list which contains some list items. We write it in li tag. I will show you with some three items maybe. Okay, let me write some company names like Microsoft, Apple, Oracle. Let's just save it and see how it looks in our browser. The same regular HTML document, nothing fancy there. So this is our default solid dot with unordered list. So net, now let's start applying our style. Style information. I will use embedded style sheets as we have only a single web page. If we had multiple web pages then I would have used external style sheet. Let me write styling information for li tag because that is where we are showing hover over effect. So I'll write li and I, we should write the styling information inside this block, the brackets. Whatever we write inside that bracket will be applied to all the li tags in the body of your HTML document. For hover over effect, you need to write the pseudo class, which is the tag followed by semicolon followed by hover keyword. Then write whatever property you want to apply to the element when hover over takes place. I will change the background to pink. Save it, refresh. When you mouse over the li list items, the background color changes. This is what is called hover over effect. Hope you notice that the pink color extends to the entire browser. So let us control it with the width property. Refresh the file to see the effects. Refresh. So this is what is width 20 pixels. Let me change it to some 100 pixels. Save it. Refresh. So 100 pixels look good. This is how hover over effect can be applied. You can apply it to almost any valid HTML tags. Any valid HTML tags. Also note that it doesn't work with Internet Explorer. 